This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Design video product faster, with Envato Elements, get unlimited downloads, After Effects templates, stock footages, fonts, music files, web templates and many more. Visit the Envato Elements, check the first link in the description, and get 70% discount on first month subscription. Let's import the files required for this project, you can download all the files from below link in the description. Perfect. Now let's create a new composition, here I will name it as title, for this composition, I will set time duration to 5 seconds, remaining everything will be same. Now let's create a new solid layer, this will be our background layer. Now in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to the solid background layer. Now set the ramp color as shown. Set the ramp position as shown. Set ramp shape to radial ramp. Set ramp scatter value to 300. Perfect. Now let's add the text layer. Here you can add any text of your choice. Here for this text layer, I will use heritage font family. Align the text to center. Now let's animate this text layer. From animate, select opacity. Let's set opacity to 0%. Now in range selector, make sure you are at start of the timer line, now create keyframe for offset, now go at 4 seconds, change offset to 100%. Now in advanced, change shape to ramp up, on the randomized order. Now let's add property, scale. Set scale value to 250%. Now let's add property, blur. Set blur to 100. You can see the preview. Now for the text layer, press T to bring up opacity. Now at 2 seconds, Create keyframe for opacity, now at start, change opacity to 0%. You can see the preview. Now change text layer to 3D. Now let's create a new camera. Now create a null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null, Press P to bring up position, now at end of the timer line, create keyframe for position, reduce the position value as shown, now at start of the timer line, increase the position value as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for exposure, add it to the adjustment layer, 
For exposure, change channel to individual channel. Change red exposure to 1.25. Now from project panel, let's add the dust media file to the timer line. For dust media file, change mode to overlay. For dust media file, change opacity to 10%. Now add the noise media file to the timer line. Change mode to soft light. Now add the light media file to the timer line. Change mode to screen. Now in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the light media file. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for unsharp mask. Add it to the adjustment layer, for unsharp mask, set amount to, 75. Set radius to, 2. Perfect, now in effects and preset, search for optics compensation, add it to adjustment layer, for optics compensation, set field of view to, 15. Select reverse distortion, change orientation to, vertical. Now from project panel, let's add the second light media file to the timeline. Change mode to screen. You can see the preview. Now let's create the cinematic frame. Create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Make sure color is set to black. Now double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. Here you can see the mask, for mask 1, let's change the path, shape, change unit to, percent of source, set top to 10%, set bottom to, 90%, select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Similarly, you can create multiple titles and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.